Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to give you guys a Hot Topics video for today. Um, this video is going to be lighthearted, nothing serious. We're not talking about nothing gay today, nothing trans today, nothing black today, none of that shit, okay? Uh, we're just going to kiki and talk about the mess. The other day, I was on my phone uh, with this girl who I'm building a friendship with. She's a straight girl, of course, a straight black girl. Um... And uh, we were on the phone for probably like two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes. And I felt, I felt like we had a productive conversation. Uh, we were talking about trans and gay and, you know, some things I was trying to explain to her and some things, you know, she expressed some concerns to me. And I got some of the stuff that she was saying. I didn't necessarily agree with it, but I understood where she was coming from. And I felt like something she understood, like, you know what, that's, you, you know, you're right. And some stuff she was like, no. <laughs> but I feel like we had a very, very productive conversation. Um, yeah. And, you know, sometimes I'm nervous to talk about trans and black stuff, cause you, especially like when it's like, well, it's one thing for me to get on here and we can have a conversation through the comment section, but it's a whole nother ball game when you're having that conversation face to face, because now you, it's like, it's just a different type of, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, we're not talking about that shit today, bitch. We're talking about these, these messy ass celebrities. <laughs> Who we talking about first today, y'all? Let me see. Let's talk about the Basketball Wives reunion. So they said the Basketball, reunion, uh, Basketball Wives reunion was taped. And they said Tammy did not show up. Cece did not show up. And they said they locked OG away in a room. And um, basically, that's how OG is going to do her um, part of the reunion. Now, I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be one of those things where, you know, she's just isolated in this room and she can go back and forth with the ladies um, like they did at the Love and Hip Hop reunion last year with like K. Michelle. Remember when K. Michelle went to the back, but she could still hear and talk to the people in, uh, on the uh, stage? And or I don't or it could be the way they did it one year. Remember when Erica Mena? It was like Erica's last supposedly supposed to be that bitch last season of Love and Hip Hop, and she just did like a quick little interview with uh, Mona Scott Young. So I don't know how it's gonna be. Um, I don't know why OG they have OG locked away in this room like she's a fucking animal. Like I don't like that. Let's just be honest. This sounds like some shit that Evelyn and Shawnee done put together. I. OG got on her live the other day. It was like, yeah, they're trying to pull one on your girl again. They're, they, they're, they're trying to pull one on your girl. I heard OG was pregnant, too. Somebody left a comment um, online and said that OG was pregnant. Um, so I don't know how true that is. But even with that being said, what does that have to do with her being locked away in the room? Like, I know y'all still not trying to pull this OG is dangerous. Let's just be honest. And we're going to put it out there on the table. Bitch, if y'all ain't afraid of Tammy... And Evelyn, then bitch, y'all shouldn't be afraid of nobody, okay? Because those are the two. Miss Peaches, you better get this Rock Wilder. Those are the two pit bulls and Rock Wilders, okay? Them the ones who you ought to be afraid of. Them bitches like to knock holes in their face and throw bottles, okay? So if you ain't afraid of them, then I know y'all ain't afraid of OG. Yes, OG said that she would, she would kill people with her bare hands. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You know, OG is from Africa. I forgot what part of Africa. But all I know is OG is from Africa, child. And, you know, OG probably used to carrying goddamn baskets and all types of shit on her goddamn head. So OG probably strong to the mother. Can you imagine somebody punching OG in the face? OG, you could probably punch your OG in the face and OG probably just sit there like this. That bitch probably used to carrying 15 pounds of goddamn potatoes and apples and shit on her head. Okay? That bitch probably trained with the lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Okay? That bitch talk about she aggressive. I'm sure you are. That bitch was probably running up and down the street barefoot. Like, <laughs> girl. Yes, ma'am. Let me stop for y'all start taking me serious. Talk, but you shouldn't be saying that. I'm just saying, child. OG was probably out there training with Mufasa and Simba. Yes, ma'am. OG is a strong bitch. And I believe it, too. When she says she can kill a bitch with her bare hands, I believe it. <laughs> okay? Um, but yeah, I don't like the fact that OG... Is not at the. Uh, is not gonna be like. At, to me, that's not at the reunion. 
I don't like the fact that Tammy is not at the reunion. I don't like the fact that Cece is not at the reunion. I don't understand why Cece wouldn't come to the reunion. Really and truly, like, this is how I look at reunions. And somebody told me this in the comment section, that the reunion is different from the season. Like, I guess they get paid a certain amount for the season, and then if they come to the reunion, they get paid again, I guess. I don't know what's going on with reality TV and these contracts, but I really do believe that somewhere down the line, they need to work this out. If you are part of a reality TV show, and if, excuse me, if that reality TV show happens to have a reunion, because all reality TV shows don't have reunions, but if you are part of a reality TV show and you, and they have a, re a reunion, you have to go. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Point blank, period. Tammy should be at the reunion. Cece should be at the reunion. Every bitch should be at the reunion. I don't care what excuse you got. I don't care how afraid you are. I don't care. Let me just say something. If them hoes can go to love and hip hop reunions and them bitches known for fighting, y'all can go to a basketball wives reunion, okay? Poor Blake Beery. But I just believe this got something to do with Shawnee and Evelyn. You know what's so crazy? Me and my sister was talking yesterday. We went to the grocery store. And y'all already know, two of my favorite back to ball wives of all time are is uh, Jeff, uh, Tammy and Evelyn, the two most ignorant bitches on the show. <laughs> okay, but I also have to try. I also try to be honest too. Like Evelyn just did not. Evelyn just made herself look real bad to me this season. Like even with the whole Tammy. Like have y'all noticed that Tammy has not mentioned Evelyn's name at all? There have been more than a few times where Evelyn has thrown jabs at Tammy. And it's like, girl, Tammy not even thinking about you, girl. Like, Tammy has not even mentioned you. Even when they mention Evelyn's name in front of Tammy, she, you get nothing from Tammy. So it's like, Evelyn, you looking real crazy in these streets. Then on top of that, the whole thing with like Jennifer and Shawnice and, you know, Jennifer's supposedly talking about Shawnice and then her finally admitting that she may have said some things and then Jennifer, I mean, then Evelyn being on. It's like, Evelyn, like, girl, are you really doing this shit just for TV? Because at the end of the day, okay, my whole thing was this, like I told my sister, Evelyn. You're this pissed off to the point where you're throwing drinks. Security has to hold you back. You can't be around Jennifer. But the only thing you want to know is, is if she said it or not. So once Jennifer said to you, yes, I may have said some things. Now you're crying and giving her a hug and now you can be around her. It's not the fact that she said it about your daughter. It's the fact that she went on up to saying something about your daughter. What type of fucking sense that make? So you're not mad at the fact that she said it. You're more mad at the fact that she won't admit to saying it. <laughs> what? What? No, bitch, I'm mad because you said it. Like, and I get it because at the end of the day, Jennifer is, Jennifer is supposed, Jennifer says she looked, I uh, mean, that she considered Shawnee her niece. She pretty much helped raise uh, Shawnee and Evelyn didn't give her any, you know, lip on that so it has to be some truth to it um but like evelyn she just looked crazy to me this season like even with jackie lying to jackie about her response when jackie was outside acting a goddamn nut she was acting a nut but like even her response like oh gee she's an outsider you gonna believe her and blah 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 and no i didn't say like uh, evelyn you did bitch like the thing is phoebe is telling all y'all business you talk to phoebe phoebe runs her mouth Phoebe let, let us know that you talk about Jackie behind her back. Phoebe let us know that. It doesn't take a rocket science scientist to see what Phoebe was trying to say. Nah, she not even her friend. She not her friend. And then you turn around giggling. <laughs> oh my God. Like, girl, don't say that. Like, bitch, I told you that in confidence. Like, anyway, so hopefully the the the, the rumors on the internet are, are false. I mean, hopefully they just, you know, rumors, <laughs> rumors girl, gossip, okay? Doesn't mean that it's true. Um, but hopefully the things that, that have been reported on the internet are false. Um, because like, I don't know how this reunion, if this is, if this is how the reunion is going to be at this point, they should stop having the reunions. They should just have the show and just do away with the reunions. If you're not going to make everybody go, if you're going to start 
putting people in rooms for whatever reason, then they shouldn't be there. Point blank, period. Or you shouldn't have one. Um, anyways. Tina Turner. Baby. Tina Turner. <laughs> now, some of us, we gonna, we gonna disagree on this one. And that's fine, child. I don't know why I gotta say that, bitch. <laughs> I don't even know why I gotta say that, child. So, Tina Turner, she, um... Did an interview with the New York Times. I want to post a link. Um, it actually was a good read. Tina Turner is 79 years old, okay? She lives in Switzerland. And uh, she's married. And um, she was basically talking about... Uh, she... Read it. Um, she said, I had a terrible life. Um, I just kept going. And uh, she talked about Ike Turner. Uh, she said, I don't know if I could ever forgive all that Ike ever did to me. But Ike's dead, so we don't have to worry about him. I said, no, that's my bitch. Um, she's done retired. She's done singing. Don't ask her to sing. She said, oh, that's done. That's a wrap. Bitch, don't ask me to sing. Don't ask me to put no wig on. Don't ask me to put no, no clothes on. I'm not doing none of that shit. Listen, let me just say something. Because I saw some people online, you know, forgiveness is key. Forgiveness is key. Now, maybe I have a lot of growing up to do. Um. And I know some in some cases I do. Um, and maybe this is one of those cases where I, you know, once I get a little little bit older um, and, you know, mature, then things will probably, you know, I may feel a different way about things. But I'm just going to be honest with y'all. All if, it, all if it give a per, forgive a person for yourself is bullshit to me. Depending on what it is, okay, yeah. But if a motherfucker was knocking me upside my head, raping me, throwing me against walls, beating the shit out of me. You think I'm going to forgive him? I honestly can believe, I honestly do believe that somebody can do something bad to you and you say, fuck that nigga. And I still think that you can get eight hours of sleep. I still think that you can live your life and have a happy life. That doesn't mean that I'm walking around here with hate in my heart. That doesn't mean that, I, like, every time I see him, I want to go outside his head. Now, it's one thing if Ike was still alive and Tina were running to him and every time she ran into him, girl, she running in the bathroom crying and can't function and all over the place. Now, that's one thing. Then, girl, baby, you might need some therapy because clearly there's some things still going on. You know, it's one thing that she run into Ike and, girl, she got us a girl. Because this, this would definitely be me at one point. Girl, let me run it to Ike. Is that that nigga across the street? I know that ain't that nigga. James, Kevin, because those are my security guards. James, Kevin, is that Ike? No, that motherfucker. I need y'all to go whoop his ass just a little bit. Don't kill him. Don't break nothing. Leave a black eye. You know, break a rib. Do that. Yeah, go with that motherfucker ass. That's one thing. If she was like that every time she saw Ike, then yeah. But I honestly believe that when people go through something like Tina Turner, I don't think that you ever get over that shit. I don't think that anybody can be raped, sexually assaulted, beaten, and then just because, oh, you say you forgave them, you really forgive it. I think, forgive them. Like, I think that it will be something in the back of your head for the rest of your life. So even if you say you forgave that person, even if you say you over it, yes, I think it will be a human reaction to see somebody who did something to you like I did to Tina and be like, oh, I can't stand that nigga, but let's go. I think if she had one of those reactions, I would be like, okay, she probably really over it like, Yes, it's still there, but not to the point where when she see him, because she, she want to go get an AR-15, okay, and blow his brains out. Does that make sense what I'm saying? I just think that... I don't think that people could ever really forget get over something, especially if it's something traumatic as what Tina Turner went through. If your man is beating on you, I don't care what, care what nobody say. You can divorce your man, break it with your man, but you are. I think that to the day you die, you are always going to remember... That the man who I used to love used to knock me upside my head. Do I forgive him? Hell no, I don't forget him, motherfucker. He used to beat the shit out of me. But when I see him, I don't want to shoot him no more. <laughs> At one point, I want to blow his brains out. But now I don't. I just roll my eyes, there go that motherfucker, and I keep on pushing. And then I go home, I get eight hours of sleep. My man come over, we do what we do. 
And it, 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 that's, that's, that's my life. And I think that's what Tina is trying to say. Tina said that I'm happy. I'm happy. I love my life. I'm living my life for me. I don't think that I could ever forgive Ike. But at the end of the day, it don't even matter because he's dead now. So shout out to Tina Turner. I'm here for everything Tina said. I'm here for Tina. I'm here for everything Tina said, okay? Anyway, let's talk about Tiara Marie. Bitch, Tiara Marie, baby. <laughs> this is not funny. Tiara Marie pleads guilty to DWI. She avoids jail time. So y'all know back in like June, July, June. I think it was June. Tiara Marie was drunk, driving a car on three wheels. The front tire was gone. This bitch was driving a car with three wheels. Do y'all just hear? This bitch was driving a car with three wheels. They say the cops, of course, girl, who not gonna see a bitch driving down the street on three wheels? Girl, the cops, when they stopped her, they say that she had an open bottle of vodka and a faux loco. Girl, one of my friends literally just texted me two days ago talking about, um, is it wrong to drink a full loco? I said, bitch, you are ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Any bitch who drink full locos is ghetto. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all ghetto. And just like I told her, she ghetto, you ghetto too. I barely give people passes for drinking lime maritas. You know my mom and them, they love, my mom and them love, now nah, I'm not gonna lie, I will drink a lime marita if it's the only thing now, okay? A buzz is a buzz. But I don't too much like lime maritas because of the simple fact they make me feel bloated. You know what I'm saying? But my mom and them, they love lime maritas. And I just be looking at them like, you want one? I guess if that's the only thing we got to drink. <laughs> okay! Bitch, I just judge y'all for 15 minutes. Now I'm going to drink one. Yeah, that's me. I am. Um, but yeah, Tiara, she's not going to jail. Do you know how fucked up you got to be to be driving a car on three wheels? I hope Tiara gets the help that she needs. Because at the end of the day, like, clearly the girl is going through something. Clearly. You know, I think, I don't know. Like, at some point, like, you can't even put it on nobody else. Like, I was about to say, maybe it's love and hip-hop, but it's like, at some point, like, you just have to be responsible. You have to take accountability for your own actions. Like, at some point, Tiara has to wake up and say, bitch, I was driving a car down the street with three wheels with an open container and a full of open containers in the car. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up. Bitch, I could have killed somebody, could have killed myself. And, girl, the most you got was basically, I think her license is suspended for six months. That's it. Bitch, I don't know what type of privilege you got, but bitch, it show work for your black ass, okay? Um, Escape. Escape said they're gonna do one last album. I'm here for it. Let's just, I'm gonna tell, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Traces of My Lipstick, Escape, their last album was everything. That's a motherfucking classic. Traces of My Lipstick, Girl, Bye. Now, I don't know, you know, when they tried to become this three, Candy said she didn't want no parts of that shit. So it was just Tamika, Tiny, and Latasha. They became like a trio. And uh, I didn't like that little EP they put out. I thought the songs were horrible. I feel like they were trying to be young. I didn't get it. I didn't like it. Y'all are grown ass women with kids and family. Stop trying to act like y'all are 21, okay? That's how I look at it. Um, if they give me something like Traces of My Lipstick. It doesn't have to be Traces of My Lipstick because we already have a Traces of My Lipstick album. But what I'm saying is, bitch, act your age. And I hate to say that. I hate to say it, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like, don't come around, don't come in here trying to auto-tune and knuck if you buck and snapping and shit. No, bitch, just do what you do. Um, so I'm excited for that because um, if it's anything like Traces of My Lipstick, this album is going to be everything. I really do. Um... Oh, did y'all see Black China and her white man? Babe, I see this man. I said, the China knows she can pick him, honey. There was a picture of Black China and a white man walking down the street. I said, you know he got to be a billionaire. He had on a, he had on a t shirt and some jeans. That's how billionaires are always dress. Okay. I don't think that threw me the only thing that threw me off was when I think he had on some Giuseppe's. I think he had on some Giuseppe's. I'm not sure. But other than that, I said, baby, China walking down the street with that old ass white man. She about to get some of his money. Yes, fail. I ain't mad at it. Like I put online, bitch. Do he got a brother, a son, a nephew, a grandfather, bitch? Okay, a daddy, bitch. 
Because I'll take any one of them. Because <laughs> if you, because you look like you ever been in your 60s. So I'm assuming your son is probably in his late 20s, which is good enough for me. <laughs> do he like boys or do he like girls? Shit. Anyways. Um, that's it, y'all. I just want to come give y'all something real quick. I was going to talk about Marriage and Madison. Um, Dr. Heavenly has his little after show. And I just watched it. But I don't feel like going. I don't feel like talking about it. <laughs> you know, let me say this much. Oh, some real shit. Oh, some real shit. I, I, I went back and I watched Marriage and Madison again. And Dr. Contessa is right. Dr. Contessa, Quad, Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly and uh, Simone. Simone still, Simone is threading that line. But right now, Simone not my favorite number. I'm sorry. Dr. Contessa, uh, Dr. Heavenly, and Quad are my favorites right now. When, when I tell you, Ain't no way in hell Dr. Contessa would be able to say to me, your husband is literally the definition of a big ass bitch. We would have told that tent down. Do you hear me? Bitch, we would have fought so hard. We would have been in College Park, home. We would have fought so hard. We would have ended up in Augusta, Georgia. That's how much rolling and beating and swinging we would have been doing. Yes, ma'am. Girl, what you just call my husband? Girl, well, but Toya started it though. Toya so I'm a girl, I got a whole bunch of growing up to do, bitch. I'm a little bit ghetto. And that's fine. But ain't no way I'm gonna ain't no way I'm gonna marry a man. And you just gonna disrespect my face disrespect my man like that to my face, girl. But I mean Toya, she started it from what I saw. Toya started it. Contessa, Contessa damn show finished it, okay? But bitch, we would have fought right or wrong. We would have tore that whole party up. I'm talking about bitch, it would have been panties in the air, legs in the air, bitch, heels over here, girl, tracks over here, braids over here. Yes, spell, bitch, it would have been wine bottles and shit. Bitch, I would have tore that whole tent down. Girl. Toya, girl, you know this bitch is told you? Bitch, I told you your husband is a literal, literally the definition of a big ass bitch. And then walked by you and told you to go out there and tell him everything she said. I said, bitch, come on, Dr. Contessa. <laughs> I said, baby, because Dr. Contessa, baby, Dr. Contessa about that life, okay? Baby, she walked by Toya and told Toya, bitch, go out there and tell him everything I said. I said, bitch, bitch. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way we wouldn't have fought. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Girl, it just ain't no way. Like, I, I think at some point, like, we all grown. We all doctors. Like, girl, you shouldn't be worried about what people say to you. Girl, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. But words will get your ass beat. And they gonna get your ass beat tonight, okay? Like... I like I I mean I I know I have said before in the past like we too old to be fighting. <sighs> we are too old to be fighting, y'all. But I don't know I don't I don't know how I would feel about somebody like my husband. Cause if I marry somebody, he gonna be a good man. Okay, he's gonna be a good man. Okay, I'm not marrying no fuck nigga. Do you hear me? Um, so for you to disrespect my good man like that, girl, we ain't got no trust but to fight. Girl, we ain't got no trust but to turn this thing down, girl. Girl, it would have been Toya and Mariah part two. Yes, ma'am. Yup. Yup. Oh, baby, that Toya, that, 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 that Contessa got that Toya right on to, and that Toya didn't say shit. But I tell you, baby, Toy, Contessa had that bitch pussy lips all in her hand. Bitch, and that hoe didn't say shit. Gonna sit there. And y'all trying y'all trying to defend Toya talking about she trying to take the high road. No, she wasn't. She knew she was gonna cut her ass beat. Now I will say this, bitch. I think Toya be I think to, I mean I think Contessa will beat Toya ass. I do. I really do. I think that Toya will beat Contessa. I mean I think Contessa will beat Toya's ass. Dr. Contessa. I think Dr. Contessa might be with the shits for real, for real. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, oh, Toya took a, taking a high road. Is she? Is she? Or oh, she just knew she was going to get her ass tossed around that parking lot. 
I would have took the chance because me and Contessa would have been tapping. Bitch, we would have been tapping. Girl, we would have told that party down. Do you hear me? What? Girl, it would, I wouldn't even say, bitch, I just would have politely got up. I'm about to go, y'all. Bitch, I would have walked by that bitch, grabbed that bitch by that ponytail and go, just well enough. <laughs> you smell. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Talking about my man. Talking about. Because you know, because cause a bitch ain't going to pull that shit with Dr. Heavenly. Okay? But I don't even feel like talking about that right now. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, y'all. Let me watch Love and Hip Hop. I need to go to the grocery store. Let me watch Love and Hip Hop and then. What's today? Today, Tuesday. Let me watch Love and Hip Hop and then, um, yeah, I'll do the, the review on that. All right, bye, y'all.